Using 3D views can assist in designing, visualizing, and documenting complex areas in MEP systems. Creating 3D views does not require a lot of extra work, but is very helpful. Areas that 3D views are useful that exist in all MEP system layouts are equipment rooms and risers. In this example, I will create a 3D view for a main duct riser. Creating a small 3D view involves placing a section or callout that defines the boundaries of the 3D view. Once that is done, we will create a new 3D view and orient that 3D view to our section crop view. For the first step, create the cropping section. In the View ribbon tab, from the Create panel, select Section. Enter the drawing window and draw the section. Pay special attention to boundaries. I will be sure to include all of the ductwork that approaches the shaft to make sure I get context. Right click on the section marker. From the flyout, select Go to View. The section will open in the drawing window. Notice that the section will take on all of the settings that I have associated to the default section view template. In the section, I will make sure that height of the section includes everything in the Z dimension I need to include in the 3D view. I will rename the section 3D section for South Shaft Isometric. To do so, right click on the view name in the project browser and select Rename. Now I will create a new 3D view. To create a new 3D view, in the View Ribbon tab from the Create panel, select the default 3D view split button. Something strange happened. Revit just opened a view I already had created. This is because Revit will not create a new 3D view if you already have one called 3D. I will rename that one in my project browser the 3D Chiller Room Isometric. I will now create the 3D view, select the default 3D view from the panel. Revit will now generate a 3D view of the entire model. If your model is larger, it might take a while. Entering into the drawing window, right click on the view cube. From the flyout, select Orient to View. Another flyout will appear. I will select Section as I want to orient my view to the section I created for that purpose. Select the section, 3D section for South Shaft Isometric. Revit will now generate the 3D view. The view will be oriented to the elevation. On the view cube, I will select a corner to create a northwest isometric. Now I have a 3D view of the shaft area that I can use for multiple useful purposes. I can duplicate this view and create multiple isometrics, each viewing the shaft from a different isometric orientation, or I can use it for visualization. These views can be placed on sheets as part of the construction set.